Sorry about the delay, everybody. How's everyone doing? Hope everybody's having a happy Halloween today. All right, we are just about good to go. Excellent. Cool. All right. Let me know if you all can hear me okay. As per the usual, is my volume all right? Is the music volume okay? Not too loud, not too overpowering or anything? up a little bit okay is this good for voice volume is this okay quickly I'm gonna use the restroom I just got back from getting uh, coffee with a couple friends uh, so I just want to be fully fully in on this uh, give me just one more minute and I'll be right back Welcome to the Tom Halloween stream. Hope everybody has been having a lovely October and a lovely voice October and a lovely Inktober. Uh, for those of you who have not been following, uh, I'll even show you real quick. Let me pull that up. Um, so uh, I've done 31 now, 31 pictures of uh, a whole bunch of different characters that I've voiced in various things. And uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. I plan on, actually, I'll even give you a little preview of this, in fact. Let me just uh, pull up the file real quick. Where's the hell it went? Uh, oh, here it is. Whoop. So, what I plan on doing for the month of November, uh, in celebration with the uh, five-year anniversary of the show, uh, I am going to be drawing a tone character every day. Uh, for the month of November, for all 30 days. And that will be including on the day of the uh, release of the uh, f the new five-year anniversary short. I'll have more uh, information about that whole thing when we get up to the week of it. We're still technically in voice overtime right now, but this is a little preview of the first one that I did. Drew this last night. I'll be posting this up uh, tomorrow for Alpha. Yeah, so. But enough of that slag. All right, let's do some drawing. So, uh, fittingly, we're going to start off with the beginning, with Alpha. So, starting right now, please give me your suggestions for what costume Alpha, our lead, our leading man, our leading, our leading hero Alpha, should be wearing for Halloween this year. So, I am going to just uh, take suggestions from the uh, the chat. And uh, if you guys suggest 
uh, an, an idea and you guys agree on one, then, uh, then perhaps uh, I'll go with that, maybe even. Will not be accepting werewolf because Alpha was already a werewolf for the first year of Halloween stuff that we did. All right, let's see. We got Natsu. We got War Greymon. We got Goku. We got Roth. We got Rock Ruff. We got Beekman. Whoever that is. Team Magma Leader Maxi. Ooh, Roy from Fire Emblem. Hmm. Mario. Oh, that's not that's not bad. A hot pocket. <laughs> that's not bad. A box of Hot Pockets. Let's see. Maxi. Hmm. Let's see. Nate from Yokai Watch. <laughs> uh, hmm. Let's see. Excuse me. I like Mario. I do like the Hot Pocket idea. <laughs> uh, Ichigo from Bleach. Be a little too on the nose with that one. <laughs> uh, Ryu from Street Fighter. Kind of like the Goku idea, but also I, I drew uh, Astarab as Goku one time. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. The Supreme King. Natsu from Fairy Tail. Don't know Natsu that much. Um, Gon <laughs> from uh, Hunter Hunter. That's pretty cute. Uh, get some more Ghostbusters going here. Uh, Curb already dressed up as Dezel one time. Oh, Inuyasha. It's <laughs> not bad. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I. All right. I like Mario, Goku, and a Hot Pocket. All right. So. Should we go with Goku, Mario, or a Hot Pocket? <laughs> Between those three. Those three. Oh boy, Hot Pocket wins. All right, that was an easy one. <laughs> Oh, God almighty. All right, well, I'm drawing Alpha as a Hot Pocket. Here we go. Good God almighty. By the way, uh, oh, hold on, actually. Uh, I'm gonna, I gotta get a link to the chat real quick so we can start. Uh, one moment. this real quick. Halloween. There we go. All right. So, <laughs> fucking hot pocket. This is what you people do to me. My god. All right, let's see. Let me get a good picture. I can get some people to join as well. All right, enough chit chat. Let's do this. Here we go. Uh, good God Almighty.
As we're drawing tome characters, let me go ahead and get uh, get some fucking tome music up in this shit. Maybe some some creepy tone music, perhaps. Yeah, bust that out real quick, like. Uh, a few people are out right now, so they can't join for the stream, sadly. But that's okay. Um. Some creepy tone music to start with. Here we go. <laughs> Can't fucking believe I'm drawing Alpha as a box of hot pockets. I'm gonna give him little hot pocket uh, limbs as well. As Shady would be, he's very, very happy. <laughs> this is possibly the most insane I've ever drawn out before. <laughs> oh, Lord. What I get for including all those fucking bloopers. This is my punishment. I did this to myself. Ah. Uh. Delicious, nutritious. Hot pockets! Uh, somebody asked for Plan Z. Let me go find that real quick. Uh, let's, oh, here we are. Everybody's favorite. <laughs>
stuffed full of nasty meat. I want to know what that tastes like. Look, it's delicious. It's nutritious. <laughs> oh, Lord. By the way, I have also never had a Hot Pocket in my life, and I don't intend on it at any point, because I would rather eat real food. Then again, this is coming from the guy who has 
fast food a lot more than he should. So, you know, don't listen to me, kids. Do as I say, not as I act. All right, what else we got? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let's see. It's another spooky one. Another spooky one. The spooky one. Uh, let's go with this one. Yes, James Porter, that's the reason why. Uh, because Shady has never had a Hot Pocket because they don't have them in England. So when he came to visit uh, a few years ago, uh, we were at, I think it was at Yomacon or something. Um, we were, he was like, I want to try a Hot Pocket. And I'm like, no, they're disgusting and bad for you. He's like, but I want to try it. And I'm like, no. So I did everything in my power to keep him from having Hot Pockets for his own protection. And then it became a fucking running joke of him always wanting to, Jesus. Of him always wanting to try Hot Pockets and me never letting him. Because... Because I know what's best for my baby, okay? thought of being wrapped in a fucking hot pocket like that makes me want to vom just a little bit. Just a little bit. Done 
now. Move on to the next one a little bit. Tweet that. Uh, let's see. And where are we at? One moment. Let me just uh, go ahead and tweet this out. A little promo. Halloween. Alpha's complete. He's a. He's an over flowing box of hot pockets shady vox would be proud come join Whoop. and there we go all right cool well um all right well i guess that moves on to the next one so uh, so here's a question for you all before we move into the next, uh, the, so we were going to go to curb next. Now here's a question. Uh, in the past several years, we have done costumes for, uh, curb, but would you guys prefer this time in place of curb to do a costume for Zetto? If you would like curb, just type curb or curb refer. If you want Zetto type Zetto and I'll see, uh, what gets more votes than the people that we have in here. Let me know what you guys would uh, would rather do. I'm only going to do one, so. All right, Zeto it is. Looks like it. Yep, you got way more votes. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, uh, then... Uh, all right, so I guess uh, start coming up with some ideas for what Zeto should dress up as, everybody. I'll get some, some things together. All righty. What should, what should Zeto be dressed up as? All right. Vegeta, Salt Shaker, Undertaker. Sasuke, Shiro from, uh, what's it called, from, from Ultron, Shark, Zeto as Curb, <laughs> that was Kevin from Ed and Nettie, <laughs> Alucard, Got three that I like: uh, Vegeta, Shark Boy, or Kerbifer. Cast your votes for Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z, Shark Boy from Shark Boy and Lava Girl, or Kerbifer from, well, you know. Ooh, that's 
is tough. Let's get the toss up between Shark Boy and Curbifer. Yep, looks like Curb wins out on this one. What a self-indulgent choice. Alright. <laughs> Can't fucking believe I'm doing this. Alrighty. Here we go. Get some more music going. Up. Hey, we're gonna have a guest. Here we go. Little guesto. Hey! Hello? Hi. Hey, what's up? What's up? Everybody, for those of you who don't know, this is Jordan Lasco, who is one of our wonderful uh, background artists for the series. Uh, and she was also the animator behind the likes of the Shadow Guard Beast and uh, the Dragon Bug. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Sorry about random phone calls. I've had telemarketers bombard me like all week. <laughs> oh, did you just get a random phone call from somebody? Yeah, don't worry about it. They're not important. Oh, okay. Well, it's because they knew that you were important. So, how's your Halloween going? Um, well, I've got all my shit set up, basically. And we're just going to be throwing candy at kids. Nice. <laughs> Sad <laughs> so exciting, I know. Sadly, I can't even do that. Uh, because Why? So I'm in, <laughs> I'm in an apartment that has a gate. So all of the actual houses are fucking <laughs> behind the gate. So therefore, we can't let trick-or-treaters in and I can't give out candy. And I'm like, oh, man. So I'm, I'm sadly, oh. I can't do that. Yeah. Um, Sadness. Yeah. It's it's all right, um, but uh, but yeah, it's all right because um, I uh, I uh, I'm gonna be going off to watch some scary movies with uh, oh, Mike so with Mike Lucas and um, Steve Yurko in uh, a little while. So once we're done with the stream, I'm gonna head off to their place and do that. So <laughs> I cannot believe you just fucking drew hot pockets. <laughs> I I can believe it. <laughs> so <laughs> oh lord. Uh, yeah, I can chill for a bit though. I'm just I'm working on animation, music video stuff. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can you say what it what it's for? Oh my gosh, it's like I work on Mystery Skulls animated stuff. That's or right. I don't know. Those of you who don't know, yes, uh, Jordan, and also uh, our friend Crescent, who was another uh, fantastic uh, <sighs> background artist on the last few episodes of Tome or so. Uh, they are both. Uh, animators for the Mystery Skulls uh, music videos. Mm -hmm. And they do a splendiferous job on that shit. So, Basically, right now, uh, I guess to chat, what my job currently is, other than just prop stuff, you, you, you can just keep drawing. Of course, I guess I'll just chat for a bit. Yeah, sure. Um, no, go for it. If that's okay, I'm taking over your stream, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what I'm, my job is basically I do like layout stuff. So I lay out shots for the animators, and then they, I send it off to them to make it all pretty. And I'll sometimes help with backgrounds, but Crescent usually handles like 90% of those with Bob and James. And then just, uh, yeah, and then I can do prop design, and then I'll tweak animation. So. Yeah, dog. Yep. So yeah. that's my job right now, and then I'm going to do that for a bit. I'm going to carve some pumpkins, and then I'm going to throw candy at kids. Sweet. What, uh, <laughs> what, what faces are you going to carve upon the pumpkins? <laughs> I got these... <laughs> I got these, uh, they're like light up eyes that my mom just bought randomly because they were on a uh, sale, tail, uh, sale for like five bucks or something. But uh -huh. you basically just like outline the shape of that shit and then like cut it out and then you just stick the eyes in there and then turn them on. So it's oh. like, well, I, I don't know, they're, they're weird as hell. I've never seen these before. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's, my mom buys weird things and then just like we hope it works. Yeah. So. Um, I've been, uh, I haven't actually de decorated a pumpkin in a really long time. I kind of would like to yeah. do that next year if I get the chance to. But again, just kind of because of the way that my house is set up, it's like there wouldn't really be, I mean, I guess I could just put it outside, but it's like, 
it, there's no signification that it's mine. But I did I did uh, draw on a pumpkin at uh, my friend Zach's place. Uh, he had a little Halloween party, and um, it was fun. And I and I drew uh, I drew Dezel from Tales of Zestiria on one of the pumpkins. Because I'm a self-indulgent piece of shit, so. <laughs> you know. Mm. Um, I'm drawing Zeto as Kerbifer. So. It's going to be silly. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's just, it's like yeah. his hair is. It's going to be a chill night for the most part. I'm just like, I'm not really doing like yeah. I was gonna go. I I used to go trick or treating in the past because like I would still do it now, except for the fact that like I do gym training, so I shouldn't be eating like all of this fucking sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I I'm I'm not on any kind of special diet, but I've certainly been like trying to uh, do my best to not have a whole lot of candy these days. Mm-hmm. Um, so I I feel like Halloween is my one time of the year where um you know I actually do indulge in eating a lot of sweets and shit um yeah but uh kira kira buckland uh rena chan the voice of forever um she made some amazing uh pa- uh pancakes jesus christ uh <laughs> she made pancakes yes for halloween uh she made uh cupcakes for halloween uh that were delicious so she also had a fucking sick ass david bowie costume um today Uh, I don't think she ever has, no, but I hope that someday she will, because that would be great. Yeah, well, go hit up your local Denny's. No. We, are not, we are not sponsored by Denny's. No, I have, to, I have to go out of the house and drive. Oh, I know, poor baby. life is hard. Oh, you. Being an adult is hard. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, what is that mouth? <laughs> grr, and fucking tape on eyebrows, which I'm gonna... The hero we all deserve. God. I'll go a little closer in. Did you get a costume this year? Oh no, I, uh, I'm a lazy piece of shit, so basically my renaissance dress is basically, all I did was I had my renaissance outfit, which is basically this really nice dress, and then I just put a witch hat on. <laughs> Sounds about the, like, about the amount of effort that I put into my costume this year. Yeah, well, because um, normally I use a, I have a, um, again, when I actually was trick-or-treating, I have a box. I might have told you about this before, but sometimes I'll make box costumes, uh-huh. and... I make them completely out of cardboard. But uh, for the past two years, I used this uh, box where I spray painted and used black tape to make the old school version of the Mario coin box. <laughs> nice. So, and then I literally just walk around in the box all night. You should, get, you should get one of those uh, those little fucking, what's it called? Um, they're these little like, keychain things that have like a bunch of the um, Mario like sound effects. Uh, like built into them, and then like, they play them when you hit a little button. You should get one. And you can have the little, uh, little bing, a little cl- coin noise every time somebody like bumps into you. But that would require effort. It would require ordering something off of fucking Amazon for like but three I'm bucks. So lazy. Uh, <laughs> God. I mean, yeah, it would, but then that would also cost money. Not whatever. Now you you almost you're almost making me want to do a fucking coin block costume next year just so i can do it better than you uh well then mr like well i guess i mean like you could if you want and, i could, I mean, you could and maybe next year i'll do kylo ren which was what i was going to do originally this year but i ended up not oh yeah for anyone new asking in chat um hi my name is jordan um i basically helped chris on tome i also do stuff for mystery skulls yeah and- you go yeah, by so you go, you go by he, 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 <laughs> you go by Helos. Helos. He, Helos. I don't even know how I pronounce my own name like ten years later. Yeah. So. Still, still, I remember that commentary. Yeah, we're like. Oh, so stupid. You were like, I, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce my own screen name, and I'm like, very helpful. I know, right? Like, I, I don't even know who I am. I don't know who I am anymore. 
Whoa, 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 need somebody. a ton of work done today since, of course, it's Halloween, so, like, kids are going to start coming in, like, probably in the next, like, two hours, even though I'm just like, the sun's not down yet, why are you here? Uh, yeah, I kind of do wonder how, like, how early, well, I guess it also depends kind of on the area and, like, the school system and everything of, like. Well, that's the thing, I live literally right next to an elementary school. Oh, well. So how, the whole how, neighborhood is teeming, crawling. How, un, how unfortunate. Oh, Excuse no, me. Children, what, what a terrible, watch. what a terrible <laughs> night to have a curse. Oh no, children. Ew, gross. I don't ever want to have children. Wah, look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm like most people from our generation. Whatever, I don't want kids either. <laughs> I know, this is funny. Like everybody I know is like, no, I'm never having kids. Never, never gonna have kids. And I'm just like, all right, well, I guess our species will just die out eventually. That's, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, just one person's decision out of like the how many billions of people. <laughs> no, seriously. Like I know so, no, it's not it's just not just you guys and girls alike. I know so many people who are just like, no, I never want to have kids. Never, never. And I'm like, why? And I'm like, because I hate kids. I'm like, you know, you were one once. Is it because you hate yourself? Because you were reminded of how dumb you were when you were a child? Because your oh parents God. didn't tell you to stop being an idiot? Is that what it is? Not, I'm not, I don't mean you specifically, Jordan. I just mean in general. I know. I know. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I will, though. But, uh, I don't know. Just like there's... Are you going to worry about it? Yeah. Don't worry. All right. Don't, do it. don't worry about... Don't do it. Don't worry... This is fun, Marks. Yeah, I'm really excited though, cause like I'm to one of my favorite scenes currently that I'm setting stuff up for. Oh shit! That's cool. I it, and I can't say anything about it. And the thing. Um, well, currently uh, Ben's away in uh, Japan right now, so cause he's visiting family, so I just yeah. basically have to set up like shots for him, to, like compile shots, so he has stuff to work on. Yeah. Huh. <clears throat> um. I could stream this stuff, I totally would, but unfortunately it's all secret. No, oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's the thing. Well, I mean, it's funny because by the time that I, I had a computer that was strong enough to be able to stream anything, um, the show was almost over. But the other thing is I, I'm so hesitant about streaming because I don't like to spoil people on stuff. You know, like when I was doing Tome, I never wanted to stream anything because I thought, well, then I'm just going to give away what the fucking episode's about, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, and I always just wanted to keep it as much of a surprise as possible until it came out. Um, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Grr, look at me. I'm a kerbafa for, for her. I'm in the same... Oh my gosh, spoilers. I'm in the same Oh my god, we are in fact the... Why I am the exact same. I am all I am, all I am. I. I am. Look at that cool back pose on Zeto. He's so cool. He's so cool. Look at me. I'm a dumb piece of shit. Oh, I just realized. Did you make his arm the, the sword? Yes, I literally made his arm the sword. <laughs> uh, he attached it to his fucking metal arm. Let's see. I'll make this into a. I'll make. I'll make his uh, Kerber for hand into a fucking kitchen mitten. <laughs> <laughs> so majestic. Uh, so what kind of uh, what kind of costumes have you done in the past for Halloween, Jordan? Uh, well, let's go through my box costumes. <laughs> I've done the coin box two different times. I actually went to. It was my last year in college, actually, so I was like, I don't normally go to the college dance things because they're kind of dumb or whatever, just like, it's not my scene. But I decided to do it this one time, and it was great because that was the first time I did that particular costume. I ran in, and I found a bunch of other Mario cosplayers, and then they were taking, like, a selfie or something, and I literally start running up and be like, hey, and they're just like, oh, shit. Like, like, get, get over, over here. here. Like, it was, was that, that, so that, that was cool. cool. And then I got to lead a conga line, but then I had to stop leading a conga line because I was falling down the stairs because I can't see where I'm going when I'm wearing a box. Uh huh. So, oh, 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 wait, are you, are you, is your head in the box too? No, well, no, but you, you have a, okay, so if you wear a box on top of yourself, 
Um, it's a little hard to see over the box. Uh huh. So to, to see where you're stepping is almost impossible. So if you try and walk forward too much, then you'll literally just fall down. If you, like unless you're like doing like tippy toe, like okay, I'm gonna, here's the first step. When you when you need help to get around in your costume, you know it's bad. Oh my God. No, it's, sometimes it can be good if it's something like a really cool cosplay, where it's just like, well, I would sacrifice the integrity of the character if I didn't build it this way, but I need someone to totally, like hand to hold me around the convention center or something. Good God Almighty. Oh, hold on a second. I'm going to chat. Halos Hello. is with us. All right, there it goes. All right, so now, next up, time for the lady to get a costume. All right, everybody, next one up is Flame Girl. So, give us some suggestions for what Flamey should be uh, dressed up as for Halloween this year. Do, 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 oh, I'm sorry. Is my is my uh is my microphone echoing to you? Uh, not to me. Oh. Probably just because you haven't hearing you from both things. All right, let's see. Not, Ruby. Not All right, Inkling from Splatoon. Ruby Rose from Ruby. Misfortune. Lilac from Freedom Planet. Azula from uh, Avatar. Let's see. Oh my god, there's so many different situations. Yeah. Not, not, not John Cena, you fucking idiots. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Raven from Teen Titans. Uh, Miss Scarlet from Candlestick. Uh, with a candlestick. <laughs> That's pretty good. Lava Girl. Well, now that Zeto is in Shark Boy, I can't draw her as, as Lava Girl. Um... See. Ooh, Amethyst, Princess of Gemworld. Burstinatrix from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Hmm. Oh, VV from Mystery Skulls. Hey. <laughs> I don't think that would fit her color palette. Okay. Yeah, it'd be like a it'd be a very blue kind of costume for her. As, as fun as that would be and appropriate for the situation, no, probably not. God. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, what are the ones I like? <clears throat> I wish you could see the faces that I'm rendering right now. <laughs> I'm sure they're hilarious. They're insane. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Jordan, do you like uh, Azula or Raven more for an idea? Oh, shit. Don't think about it. Azula or Raven? <laughs> Let's do Azula. Okay. All right, my top three choices for Flame Girl are the Inkling from Splatoon, Miss Scarlet from Clue with a candlestick, or Azula from Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, Air, Air member? <laughs> Good. Good job. <laughs> Airbender. All right. Inkling, Miss Scarlet, or Azula. Cast your votes, everybody. All right. Azula, Azula, Inkling. Azula, Azula, Azula. Inkling, 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 Azula. Ooh, this is tough. It's a tough one. Azula, Azula, Inkling, Azula, Azula, Inkling, 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 Azula, Inkling, 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 Azula. Oof. Oh, that's that's tough. It's split down the middle between Inkling and Azula. You mm. want to recast the poll then for just those two? Inkling or Azula, guys. Azula, 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 Azula. <coughs> Ooh, that's tough. What's your vote on? Well, I I'm more for Azula, but again, it's you know chast chast decision. All right. Yeah, I'm seeing more Azulas. All right, let's go with Azula. Sounds good. Azula from Avatar The Last Airbender. No, it's Airbender. Airbender. Yeah, good. Thank you. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
So uh, Voice October is uh, ending on a very, very good note, and I guess like starting up the next month with uh, with uh, some really good stuff because uh, I just booked a new job today um, on, a, on a new series, a uh, little, little quick character for something, can't say what it is yet. Um, and then uh, I'm going back to working on a series that I booked the main character in uh, tomorrow. So I'm doing all of that tomorrow, and it's going to be cool as shit. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got to get, get a good reference picture for Azula. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Google. Oh, I wonder if it's like you want to do the hair up one or the hair down one. Uh, hair up. That's the more iconic look for her, I would say. Yeah. It's like, do you want regular crazy? More crazy? <laughs> insane. Uh, which, the, uh, which standard of crazy do you want? Yeah, well, she's it's all crazy all the time. Let's be honest. It's all crazy. Yeah. Uh, come on, give me a fucking. Oh, there we go. There's one. All right. Cool. All right. Fire Lord Azula. Here we go. I wish anything else exciting had happened recently that I could like chat about, but I'm yeah. just thinking. I'm like, wow, I was sick all weekend. That, nope, that's not interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm doing anything else like super interesting other than video work, like and commissions, other, uh, like basically for the rest. Hey, of the well, year. you're 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 paying your bills. That's that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, man. Let's talk about my student loans. That's a really cool topic. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Uh, I mean, just like, I mean, yeah, that's normal though, but it's just like, I mean, all this stuff that I could be talking about, I'm not allowed to talk about. Yeah. Well, when it finally does come out, that'll be fucking awesome, so. No, I'm actually, I'm really excited about this video. The, again, I can't talk about what's in the animatic, but this is probably my favorite animatic in terms of just, like, action, so. It's gonna be good shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, they've all been they've all been really really solid, so I, I don't uh, I don't doubt well, it. Well, this this one's cool because it's just like it's been building up to like a really cool conflict point. So it's just like you know you've got like two two people or in this case quote unquote people um, that are antagonists at this point. So it's just like oh man, what are we gonna do? What's gonna happen? And oh, then we actually God. we just put out a uh, a little GIF animation. I think it's on Ben's Tumblr. Um, I will link it to you. One second. Oh boy. I have this fucking music from this obscure ass game called Kid Clown and Crazy Chase that I just learned about because a friend of mine did a uh, a remix of some music from it and I'm like, what the fuck is this weird Super Nintendo game that I never played? Yes, say that title again. Crazy Kid Clown and Crazy Chase. Really? Yeah. Okay, I've, I have never heard of that. Yeah, before. no, it looks Obscure cool. Shit. It looks cool. I just learned about it like like from that thing, and I was like, oh, neato. Is it? Is it? It's a game, you said, right? Yeah, it's a Super Nintendo game. Super Nintendo. That's really weird, because like a lot of most of the Super Nintendo titles, with the exception of like really super obscure stuff, are pretty well known. So I guess that falls in that category. But yeah. I've never heard of that because I've. I mean, I. I actually took video game design in college. We went through like the history of video games in general, so it was just like I'm very surprised I didn't hear. I've it probably well, it probably just is an obscure game. <clears throat> mm -hmm. oh, I'm sure it's. It, well, it kind of reminds me of like the the super obscure. Well, not in terms of like title or anything, but it reminds me of those super obscure Bible games that were made illegally for like uh, it was either the NES or the Super Nintendo. Oh yeah, yeah. We were just ta I was just talking about those with a friend of mine. One of them ha like. One of them had a friend who actually had one of those when they were a kid, and it was like mm -hmm. the worst fucking experience of their fucking life. <laughs> I I couldn't believe those existed. I was just like, this can't be real. Yeah, there's, there's no a whole. Way this is real. There's a whole great um, 
uh, AVGN about all those as well. I think that's I remember seeing them the first time back when I like watched him more often. So. Yeah. But I mean, I was just like, really. I just watched his uh, I just watched his Godzilla episode again because I went to see um, Shin Godzilla when it was in theaters here for a little bit, mm-hmm. and uh, I wanted to I wanted to watch a little <laughs> stuff about the the cool Godzilla game that we never got in the U.S. It was like destroy all monsters for the Super NES, and I was like, ooh, neato. Because Godzilla is something I'd never been into, but I I really like all the fucking monsters in it, so they're like, oh, cool. Well, that's actually you saw the. Um... Like, again, I don't really know that much about Godzilla except for, like, a couple of the monsters and, of course, Godzilla himself. But mm. cause I, that wasn't a thing I was into as a kid. But mm. did, did you see the most recent movie that was in America? Because I didn't actually go see it. Uh, no, I did not see the American one. Um, I heard it was just kind of whatever. So I was like, eh, I wasn't super interested. But the, uh, Shin Godzilla is the new uh, Japanese-made one, and I really liked that one a lot. I thought it was very well done. Well, yeah, I, I, I mean, I've always heard at least – Again, from just friends that like most of the films, obviously made in Japan of Godzilla are actually quite good because they actually focus on surprise Godzilla. Yeah. Like, well, also just like they're just more entertaining generally. Like, yeah, like because I have seen the fucking Matthew Broderick shitty one from like years ago. Oh, is, that the, yeah, is that the one with the that's a lot of fish? Yes, yes, it is. Uh, that's the only one I've ever seen in terms of anything. In America, I don't think I've actually ever seen a Godzilla movie in terms of any of the ones made in Japan. Yeah. That is my only major movie impression of Godzilla. God. Sad day. <laughs> so, it's, I, 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 I remember rewatching it, and I'm just like, the CGI at the time even, I don't even think was that good, um, even for its time, because it was just like, then you just had like 50 bajillion baby Godzillas for like, just everywhere, and it's like, where is this plot going? <laughs> I remember, I remember, uh, what was it, uh, Mike Lucas, he had, uh, a few different Godzilla monster figures and stuff growing up, but he had this one, I want to say it was, like, maybe from, like, a, like, a, if not, like, a Happy Meal, like, some kind of kid's meal, like, from, like, a, like, a fast food place or something, uh, where he had, like, the cool ones, like, he had, like, a Space Godzilla figure that was fucking awesome, and the, but then he, it mixed in that, he had this, like, it was like it was a plush of the the American Godzilla, which is just called Zilla, apparently. Uh, really? Like like Toho like had it like in one of the Japanese movies, and then they just like fucking destroyed it, which was hilarious. Um, and uh, yeah, um, he had a plushie. Somebody Google it, and you'll fucking find it. It was a, it was a plushie of the American Godzilla like like design, but. It was only a plushie for the body, and it was impossible to stand up because, like, the tail was—it was like it was like this. It was like the tail was pointing downward. If you can see the screen, uh, Jordan. So it was like that, screen. yeah, and eh, it was like that. So this this whole thing was plush. This part. So the tail was pointing straight down like that, so you could never like sit it on anything, and then it just had this like, like hard plastic, like fucking head. It was it was like darker than the whole rest of the body, and I'm like, this is a terrible toy. Like, why would anybody ever want this? This looks stupid as hell. This is really bad. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, I mean, not quite as that. That's pretty bad, but uh, like, it reminds me of like the the toys of like old inaccurate T Rexes that used to be made. Like, just in terms of like the the fact that you know, like in old school like dinosaur naming. I'm sorry. One second. I'll never forgive you. No, it's, it's telemarketers. It's like, I don't... Dude, I've been getting a lot of telemarketers lately. Yeah, it's fucking obnoxious. Well, not only that, I get that. And then, like, not to get into politics stuff, but just, like, I keep getting calls of, like, hey, you should come vote. And, like, I'm just like, I already did. Shut up. Yeah, I have to wait until the 8th before I can vote. Yeah, but and it just, like, shit like that. And I'm just like, I'm not interested. Stop calling. And then you tell them, and it's just like, no, I take my number off there, and they still call you, but whatever. But anyway, back to my point. Uh, so, like, you remember how, like, uh, like old shitty T-Rex anatomy used to have it to where, like, they thought the tail touched the ground and the T-Rex was, like, propped up, like, in a sitting position or some shit? Uh, uh, yeah, that's what, those toy- that's what those toys remind me of. I don't even think. Can you get me a picture of that? Because I don't even know what I, you're talking about. I'm going to do that right now because I'm not good at describing things. 
If anyone knows anything else about me, I am super into like dinosaurs, like hardcore. Dino song, dino song. Let's all sing a dino song. Oh wait, no, maybe I have to type in bad to Did you like dazzle the dinosaur? I don't even know what that is. Good. It was it was I know. Off, it was awful. It was awful. How awful? It was, it was, it was, I won't talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to, it, it scarred me. <laughs> Dazzle touched me. I don't want to talk about it. Where, where, can you point on the T-Rex? No! <laughs> oh, God. No, I was talking, oh, oh, okay, fucking yesterday. So there's a Skylanders uh, animated series on Netflix right now, which apparently is like pretty okay. So I might check it out at some point. Um, there's an episode that has Crash Bandicoot in it, and he talks. Um, what? Yeah, and I don't, I, I don't know who voices him, but he has an Australian accent. Uh, and I actually was, oh hey, you know what? That's kind of cool because that because one that makes sense, um, but also. Uh, so when I was, uh, when I was a young lad, I went to Universal Studios in Florida, um, and for some reason, oh, no, no, well, I, could, I think because it was, it was right when they bought Crash, and they were doing, like, I guess, like, Wrath of Cortex or whatever, like, the newest game was at the time, um, and, uh, they had, uh, a, a guy in a suit, in a Crash Bandicoot suit, going around, like, taking pictures of people, with people and shit, and the guy in the suit was actually talking, and I was like, whoa. And I even said, and obviously I was old enough to know that it was just a guy in a suit, but I, I pointed out to him, like, hey, wait a minute, you don't talk in the video games. And he was doing an Australian, I don't know if he, like, was actually Australian or if he was just, like, doing an accent or whatever, but he was like, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, well, I can talk in real life, but they just don't pay me to talk in the video games. They just pay me to go, wow, or whatever. And I'm like, all right. Guy in costume. That's cool that you were like trying to like make a story out of it. I, I appreciate the effort of that. He was oh, he was really, he was cool. cool. And then as like, soon as I tweeted about that, I I realized like oh yeah, a guy in a Crash Bandicoot costume when I was a kid told me that. And then I realized oh that totally sounds like he was like trying to fucking like molest me or something, even though he wasn't. So I was like he didn't touch me after Crash was nice to me. He's my friend. Okay, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, I. <laughs> God. Sorry. Well, because you just reminded me, because I saw screenshots recently of, I, I didn't realize that that was the Skylanders thing, because I completely forgot that they just were crashing the Skylanders. Mm -hmm. um, but I saw a screenshot of him next to their Spyro design, and I had very bittersweet feelings about that. Uh, yeah. Also, weirdly, he's played by fucking, what's his name, Justin Long now, which I'm kind really? of like... Yeah, I don't know why. I guess they felt the need to put like random celebrities in in the show, and I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, not that anybody mm. cares, but not that anybody watching fucking Skylanders cares about what celebrities are in the voice cast. But nonetheless, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I've kind of gotten used to it. By this point, it's just one of those things where it's like, yeah, well, they're not going to make any new Spyro games anyway, so it's like, whatever, who gives a shit. Oh yeah, no, it's it's not a matter of just like I'm like you know. I'm, of course, I'm still salty about just the whole, like, oh, we're not getting any major, like, story-driven Spyro games anymore in terms of anything outside of Skylanders. I'm just, in general, like, I don't like that design, and I'm just sad about it. And, and I hate it, and I hate things that are different. Yeah, no, I, it's a, I'm sorry, it's a bad design. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Crash was one of those franchises I didn't grow up with, so I don't I don't have the same like you know. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not talking about Crash. Crash is fine. Oh, sorry. I, I, Sp Spyro. Spyro is what I meant to say. I didn't grow up with, oh, with so, yeah, Spyro. No, Crash looks fine in Skylanders. Apparently, like he actually looks pretty good. Um, Spyro, however, I have. That's the thing. I have a. I have a huge love for Spyro. That's the game series I grew up with, and I also have. Shady too. For good design choices, which don't exist currently. Shady, Shady's a Shady's a big fan of Spyro as well, actually. Oh yeah, no, yeah. He, I mean he, and of course, uh, Bandicoot. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. Well, yeah, I remember he was. Uh, oh God, what did he buy a while ago? A uh, factory sealed copy of the game. That's the one. I was just like, I was so jealous. Like, I didn't even actually really grow up with like Bandicoot, but like getting into it later in life, I was realizing like this game is really fucking good. Like, 
this game is really good. And even Banjo too, I was like, wow, this is really good still. Um, but Here's... seeing that, like, especially when you get something that precious, like, especially that you've wanted for a while, like, I felt really, I was, I was really happy for him. So, and I wish I had money to buy that. <laughs> yeah, well, he also had money to fucking afford, uh, what is it? Um, going to, uh... Oh, oh uh, getting to 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 buy doing a voice in ukulele at like the one thousand yeah. dollar stream or whatever, and I'm just like, God damn, man! I am really excited for that game too. It's looking gorgeous. All like, righty. Really know what the hell they're doing with that, so. All right, we got Azula. We got Azula Flame Girl. Just tweeted her out. All right, so uh, I'm gonna say since we're going with Zeto as the costume in place of uh, Kerbifer. I say we go with the costume this year for Softy instead of Game Crazed. So, uh, everybody in the chat, uh, please cast your ideas for a costume for Softy. And we'll start coming up with some stuff for her. Let's see what you got. What do we got? We got all right, we got Celebi. We got no. me. We got Mew. Yeah. Uh, we got Deancey. Rose Quartz from Steven Universe. Just draw all that hair. <laughs> As a member, Barry! <laughs> hey guys, you remember Tom? I love Tom. Mega Mewtwo Y. Oh, Tinkerbell. Oh, that's cute. The Predator, Jesus Christ. Oh, G Banyan. That's cute. Isabel. You got any suggestions for Softy? Oh, man. I think Cape Barty. What was the one I was just thinking of? Um, what is a pink flying fairy thing can be? I can't say words, apparently. <laughs> Good, excellent job. I know. Godzilla? Oh my god. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Jesus. Satan. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh, Vivian. Ooh, Vivian from Paper Mario. Oh, that's a great idea. Vivian from Paper Mario. Fidget from Dust. Well, if only I were drawing Granda. Roll from Mega Man Battle Network. Now, that'd be a good one for Saturn Diva. Oh, Vivian Thousand Year Door, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I actually, I might put my vote in for that as well. Hmm. That's a good one. You might want to cut it off soon, probably. Yeah. All right. So, my three choices that I've chosen are Celebi from Pokemon Gold and Silver, Vivian from Paper Mario A Thousand Year Door, and Tinkerbell from Peter Pan. Cast your votes in the chat for Celebi, Vivian, or Tinkerbell. Go for it. I, I don't know about Vivian, but I'm not trying to, like, you know, be biased. Or... Uh, shh. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's see. Vivian, Vivian, Vivian. Celebi, Celebi, Celebi. Yeah, Tinker, Tinkerbell's the odd one out, as I figured. Vivian, Vivian, Vivian. Celebi, 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 Celebi. Uh -huh. I've sabotaged your voting oh, process. Oh boy! Oh, it's going it's halfway between Celian and Viv uh, Celebi, Celian and Vivi, Vivibi. <laughs> Jesus. Celebi. Vivian or Celebi? Vivian or Celebi? All right, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Yep. Vivian's the winner. All right. Vivian from Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. She's a, she's a cutie. Yes. No. That. Oh my God. I. That is such a great game. <laughs> yeah. I. You know. I can never decide which Paper Mario is my favorite. They're all really good. I. That game holds a very special place in my heart, just from the character diversity. Oh and yeah. Just, like the the different gameplay styles and like the fact that like all the stuff that you can do with not only Mario, Peach, and then all you keep switching off character things. Like mm -hmm. it's great. Yeah, you know, excuse me. Yeah, it's it's funny because it's like um, I uh, 
Um, English. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, for me, the reason it, it's tough for me to choose is because um, uh, I, I really so I, I think that Paper Mario, the original Paper Mario for 64 is great because it's um, it's very uh, it's very simple. It's very, very simple and like straightforward um, and uh, which I, which I like. And um, and then at the same time, uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door is a little bit more in depth in terms of the um, in terms of like the the gameplay. Like it's a little bit more. I feel like it's it's a it's a good evolution of like what uh, they were going for with a lot of the Mario RPG games in general. <laughs> and then Super Paper Mario, even though it's a very different kind of game, I do like the gameplay and I love the story of that game. That's even though it's absolutely fucking. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous, the story in that game, but I still love it. Well, that game also, uh, yeah, I think it was Super Paper Mario. That game gave us Mr. L, if I remember correctly. Yes, it did. That is one of the greatest things for Luigi that had ever happened. Like, I'm just, I fucking love that character. Uh, and well, just all the, th those characters were interesting too, but just like, Thousand Year Door gave me such a good feeling from start to end like mm -hmm. it was it was just the second you get into the port like and then right off the bat you meet really interesting different Goomba character like then all of the toads are different like mm -hmm. they all have interesting designs the fucking uh <laughs> the great gonzalez that is still one of my favorite story arcs in that entire game oh yeah it's a good one well because like that actually is paced out really well like a legitimate story arc which is just, and the whole thing is ridiculous. The music is like in that. The music in that game is like. Oh yeah, mm, great like, stuff. Like, just beautiful. And then the the fights. The fights are so much fun. And even like the huge boss battle fights, especially when you get to like the very like the giant dragon, for example. Or I just oh my god, I have so many good things. Well, and also I love the badge system. I love the the. Oh, there, there's so many good things. You know what's such a shame though about that game? I hate to say this. What's such a massive stain on an otherwise like fantastic game is I cannot stand that fucking tree level. Oh my it's god. So it's so obnoxious. <laughs> it's so fucking obnoxious. That's like and unfortunately, I always think of that. It, it it sticks out of my mind so much. I always think of that stupid ass level so much and it's awful. Interesting, but then it overstays its welcome because the level design inside of it is so complicated. Yeah. Like how, how you have to do certain things in certain order. So yes, that I will agree with because yeah, no, I remember that actually took me the longest to get through because it was just tedious after a while. Like even though you met really interesting characters also in there, it took a while to get to certain points that were more interesting. So you like you had to slog through an area. Yeah, and, and you, had, you had you had to carry all those little those little tiny guys with you. I, I forget what they're called, the little teensy guys. They were cute. I liked them. Just yeah, that that level overstayed its welcome. But at least you got to. Uh, is, if I remember correctly, in that particular realm, as it were, is that where you meet your? Uh, was it another ghost party member? I forgot her name. Um, oh, the uh, um, the the opera singer ghost girl. Yeah, yeah, she was thick. Like she was like she was she was cool. I, I remember her being like really cool. Uh, I yes, you do you do meet her in that level. Yes, okay. in in that in that world. Uh, I forgot her name. Oh my god. Was it Flurry? Uh, I think it was. I think it was Flurry. Paper. Yeah, Flurry. There she is. Okay, yeah, she was cool. I loved her. I loved all. But that's the thing. Every party member was interesting. Like that's what I loved about all the characters in that game were super interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, and even even the weird computer thing, which got, some of those sections got a little bit creepy with Peach, but. Oh, with uh, uh, with tech, yeah. Yeah, tech. Good old tech. God. But I love I love the sections with Peach as well. Like that was really interesting. Being like, I love games that do like that whole like. Meanwhile, let's show what's going on with the other character that you're trying to totally rescue. In I movie. did like, I did like that for Thousand Year Door. Though I feel that as far as that specific element goes, I think that um, 
Thousand or uh, Super Paper Mario got it best in terms of just like fuck it, let's just make him playable. You can play as Mario, Peach, and Bowser for the whole game, and I'm just like fuck yeah, I want that shit. That's amazing. So that was really cool getting to do that. Can I have more games where I can play as Bowser? Though? Yeah, that'd be great. I would love that. It's almost like you've tested it out on handhelds before as well, and yep. you had like a whole game dedicated to playing as Bowser and with Mario and Luigi inside them or something. Yep. I actually don't know how good that one is. I've only ever played uh, of the of the Mario and Luigi games. I've only ever played uh, a little bit of Superstar Saga, like a long time ago, and um, I played a bit of Dream Team. And what's disappointing is like, okay, so they're they're very well made, polished games. Like the graphics are fucking gorgeous. The music is amazing. Uh, the battle system is really fun. Like it is it, like those games more than anything. They are the evolution of the Super Nintendo uh, Mario RPG: Legend of the Seven Stars. Like one hundred percent. And in fact, I think if I'm not mistaken, at, at least for the first one, I don't know if the entire series is, but I know that uh, staff members of uh, those games. Oh, one second, I'm getting a phone call from Ben Diskin. Okay. Hi, Ben Diskin. You're on speakerphone, and there's the chat listening to you. Do you have anything, any sensitive information to tell me about? Uh, well, I was going to ask you for a favor. Uh, hi, Internet. Hi. Um, I just totally forgot that you were streaming. Yes, um, I sure am. No, I have nothing. I have nothing of importance to say. Oh. Um, I will give you a call. I have a favor to ask of you. It involves driving now. Oh. Uh, Uh, uh not in most of the morning and afternoon. Fudge. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm working. <laughs> I'm doing the thing that I told you about earlier today that I has that I can't talk about yet. Oh, I think. Sorry. I think hey, I say something cuz you're cuz uh, of reasons say something funny as oddball. Yeah, yeah, I know. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Bye. I love you. Bye. Okay. Anyway, uh, it's for moments like these that I live. Anyway, um, yeah, I know. I want you to do this. This horrible sounding voice that is grating on your throat. I want you to do this publicly and say some awful shit to people. I want you to do that for me. Completely out of context. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Can't absolutely. Uh, anyway. Um, so, uh, Mario, um, or the RPG game. So, you said that you had played Bowser's Inside Story. You need to fucking play that game. Is it, is it good? It's good. Okay. Uh, like, it's... It's definitely like, I think people either lean more toward, I personally bo love both the gameplay and the story, but like mm -hmm. some people either lean a little more towards gameplay sometimes or also a little more towards story, but like that game, Bowser's dialogue in that game is absolutely fucking hilarious. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's, he's as full of himself as you would expect, but just like, it, it is played so, so straight. <laughs> I just, man. That, like, the controls of that game are really fun, too. Just, like, cause you're, you literally, with the exception of, uh, you, you also play as Mario and Luigi because of shenanigans, uh, they obviously ended up inside you, which is the title of the game. Um, they're inside you. They're, I, I don't remember if those sections were fun or not, because it's been years since I played that game. Mm -hmm. But, um, I think I remember, like, there, there were some frustrating bits, but for the most part, like, I just kept being like, this is fun, but I really also want to get back to playing Bowser. Yeah. Because there were also sections where Bowser would, like, legitimately just, like, he would just grow to, like, ginormous. Like, you would literally be fighting a train at one level. Like, you'd be pounding the shit out of the train to go back. <laughs> well, because you're trying to save it, if I remember correctly. Again, people can correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, but, um... I think I remember you were either saving a train or you were stopping a train from like sending bombs somewhere or something like that. You're basically trying to stop a train, if I remember correctly, or some mm. other like transportation. I remember it actually being hard if you didn't time your shots right. Mm -hmm. But uh, basically, you have to like the whole screen would like rotate or some shit, and like because Bowser would literally take up like both screens because he got that big, and you just literally I think you literally just punch the shit out of a train, um, and it stops. 
My favorite. Uh, punch, the, punching the, the shit out of trains. My favorite. <laughs> Yeah, the train was trying to like, is, is, is either trying to kill you or something like that. It's, it's been so long, but yeah, um, yeah, you would do stuff like that. And then Bowser would also have like, of course he had like his fire breathing ability and then he'd be able to like, I think if I remember he could call minions during his fights as well in like the, just the RPG style. And I remember ah, Jesus. without like, spoiling the final boss, I remember the final boss music was pretty dope. Um, yes, I do know that there's actually quite a few, uh, remixes of that on, um, I think on Silva Gunner's channel, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, that's the do, 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 things like that's that is a very underrated game i don't think that game got the attention it deserved in my opinion um but then again i think that's mostly that really is kind of the handhelds they're kind of like with the exception of paper mario they're not really in the limelight even though they're sometimes mostly like at least recently there's not a lot of paper mario games but i'm not really interested in playing any of the new paper marios currently they they don't just the way they're presented they don't interest me um and also, I don't really appreciate, like, at least, again, just from what I've seen from the trailers, I don't really appreciate, like, the, the pulling back on interesting character designs. Because um, as far as I've seen, especially, I think it was the more recent one, which I think is Color Splash, I think your companion person is literally a paint bucket that's just alive. Um, I've heard that Color Splash is a lot better than uh, Sticker Star. I've not played Sticker Star. I heard it described to me, and I was like, ew, never, don't want to play that. Sounds bad. <laughs> Um, uh, Color Splash, I'm not jumping out of my seat to go play, but I hear it's a lot better than, uh, than, than Sticker Star, so maybe someday, I don't know. All I know is just, like, when I'm looking at a video game trailer, like, especially for, like, Paper Mario, my, again, my standard is that Thousand Year Door, and, like, maybe that's nostalgia talking about, but it's just, like, I think people can back me up, that is a legitimately well put together game with the exception of, like, one or two, like, down spots, but, like, even to this day, as old as that game is, like, it's still... Incredible. And then along with, like, I would put Super Paper Mario next on that, uh, or for the Wii U. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't remember much of Sticker Star because I played a little bit. Hey, of it and uh, I have to take this call. I'll be, sorry, oh. sorry. I'll be right, entertain the chat. I'll be right back. Oh, oh God. Um, so, hi. Hi, what's up? Hi, chat. <laughs> this is, uh, this. This is this is not going very well. I <laughs> this, is, this is the worst stream ever. <laughs> There's delay. I'm gonna see messages late. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not entertaining. I'm just I'm just gonna work. Okay. All right. Sorry. 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 I had a call. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to fucking cut you off. <laughs> Jesus, no, okay. that was that was a, that was an important that was an important one. No, no, it's totally fine. <laughs> I'm just making myself laugh. Really. It's not funny. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. Oh my god. Okay. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we're talking about Mario. Uh, hold on, hold on, one second, one second. I can do <laughs> one, do one thing at a time. Jesus. Okay. Uh, oh, are here's you done? cute little softy as Vivian. There she is. All right, tweeted her out. All right, everybody. Um, so now it's time. It's time to pick Nylock's costume. Oh, boy. So here we go. All right, everybody, cast your votes for what you think Nylock's costume should be. I, I'm going to be honest. I have, I have no idea what I would even put That's Guts from Berserk. Uh, Reinhardt's... Uh, Asgore, that's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, Asgore, that's cute. Piccolo. Like Captain Hero. King of Hyrule. I'm always down for those Undertales. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Ganondorf. Um, Santa Claus. <laughs> that's, that's not bad. Not even the right time of year. Thor. No, but it's funny because Martin loves Christmas. Oh, okay. Oh, that's sweet. Well, I mean, a lot of people love Christmas too, but yeah, that's really sweet. <laughs> but he like ex he like extra loves Christmas. Oh, he does. Oh, yeah, he does. Cool. Oh. Do 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 do. I'm on the Asmore train, but that's just. What's up? I'm on the Asmore train, but that's oh, just. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Captain Falcon, I saw in there. Let's see. Santa Christ for Nostalgia Crane. <laughs> oh, Lord. Right on. Dragonite Frieza. Um. Alright, let's see. One more really good one. Let's see. Uh, fucking King K. Rool. Oh my god. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the best. Oh, Yugi. Ooh. That's not bad. Oh, yeah, that would actually probably seem a little obvious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, here's the three. Asgore from Undertale, Yugi, Moto from Yo, or Santa Claus from Life. All right. <laughs> Cast your votes for Asgore, Yugi, or Santa Claus for Nylox Halloween costume. Wow, I didn't know Santa was real. From real life. From real life, Santa. All right, let's see. I'm pretty sure it's going to be between Yuki and Asgore. Yep, Yuki and Asgore, of like, course. Yes. I like Santa yeah, Claus. Yeah, Yuki and Asgore, you can uh, split down the middle again. All right. Yuki, 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 Asgore, 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 Asgore. Yuki, 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 Yuki. Santa, Santa, Asgore, Asgore, Yuki, Yuki. Yuki, 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 Asgore, Asgore. Uh, well, mm, this is a tough one. Yeah, Yugi and Asgore split down the middle. Hmm. Hmm. What to do? What to do? On one hand, dueling card game boy. On the other hand, giant fluffy goat man. Yes. Hmm. Jordan, why don't you be the tiebreaker? Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna, you know what? <laughs> That's not being a tiebreaker. <laughs> I can flip a fucking coin. Jesus. I, 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 I actually... Oh, man. Fuck, this is really hard. Um, I'm more in camp Asgore, because even though Yugi would be cool because, you know, voicing. Yeah. I, I think it'd be more interesting. All right, just, let's go with Asgore. That's just me. Sorry, chat. You've, so you've, sorry. you've I, twisted I my arm. All right. Here we go. Dude. Do, do, oh, hold on, sorry. One second. I'm sorry I ruined your hopes and I just wanted one. I just it's a good reason. wanted one. Just, right. just wanted one. Just, just dang it, dang it! I just wanted, I just wanted it. Hey Jordan. Yeah. If Grillby's went on the road and had a mobile location, and Asgore goes to eat there, what would that make him? The Burger Truck King. Oh. Sorry. Anyway. Good, good joke. Good, good quality. quality. Uh, 
Fluffy Goatman, Fluffy, Yay. Fluffy Goatman. Fluff, Fluff Goatman. I just, to this day, I love the contrast between his overworld sp spite, sprite and then just the bottom one where it's his in-game. Just like, look how... Like, I'm terrifying. And then fucking terrifying. <laughs> I'm going to draw him without the armor showing because one, it's fucking easier, and two, because it's more welcoming. It's <laughs> Burp. Burp. I'd say, how's the, how's the weather? But, well, you know. Burp. Burp. Oh, I'm actually really excited because uh, my friend who uh, runs a fairly popular uh, Undertale blog uh, is going to be putting out. Uh, something pretty soon which i'm really excited about so what's that i can't tell you exactly what it is but he's been working on it for a long time it's not coming it's not coming out today or anything but like he's uh he's been he's been basically working in game maker to make this fucking amazing thing. oh is that uh yellow hmm? is that uh undertale yellow no no this is a this is for his own like blog story and he's like, oh wait oh i oh i know what you're talking i know who you're talking about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that yes it's, it's i've seen what he's been working on it's a dope as hell like it we're talking like fully made uh, yeah yeah dreamer reborn that's exactly what i'm talking about my, my friend blake who also works on mystery skulls um runs that blog and so oh i thought oh oh i thought you were talking about mark no, no, I, my my buddy runs uh he runs an AU blog. I do know about Dreamer Reborn as well. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. yeah. He, good, it's good shit. 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 So. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm really excited about that though because he's been working so hard on it and he's actually just like literally just sat down and started learning code just to do this and I'm just like, oh, that's a uh, that's a huge endeavor to just even make like an art just just an RPG game, like, yeah. like Undertale, like that's a huge undertaking, especially when you're barely reusing any assets and you're making all of your stuff, so I'm just, oh man, I'm just really excited because it, it just looks so good, so. Um, but he'll put that out, he'll put stuff out when he wants to, so. Cool. It's because it's just like, it's a basically like one to two person project, so. Sounds familiar. <laughs> now we have more people than we had, we had like, we got about like a ten person crew on Tome, I would say. Oh, we actually only had three. Just three. Just no just three else. and no one no one else. No one else. Uh, I think this is gonna be a fairly chill Halloween though. I don't see anything like super exciting happening. You mean it's not already? Uh huh. Uh -huh. No, uh, it's actually it's 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 gonna be yeah no like I, said, I expect a lot of kids but other than that just it's gonna be a quiet night my mom's gonna come home we'll get out candy go to bed <laughs> that's it <laughs> nothing exciting no party I don't really do things like Halloween parties or anything they're just I'm not interested unless I like get directly invited or something it's just like nah maybe it was fun going to some Halloween parties this year I had a couple yeah yeah I actually had one I was I was invited to. Uh, yesterday as well, but I skipped out because it was relatively far, and I was like, hey, "I'll see, I'll see these friends another time later." So, <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs> hey, we should do this again sometime. Yeah, Whoa! Wow, I fucked that up. <laughs> were you Were you doing Sanic? Sanic the Hodge Hooge. Hooge I am super excited for Sonic Mania. I am excited for Sonic Mania, and I'm also excited for Project 2017. Up like, mm -hmm. yeah, both, I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Because mm. I know that when it comes to, like, 3D Sonics, it's like, yeah, all right, I'll believe it when I see it. But, dude, fucking Colors and Generations team, I'm already fucking sold. Well, I also just, like, I feel good about not only that, just because of what they did with Sonic Mania when they started off with that and then went into that for, like, the live show thing. Mm -hmm. Because... It's just like you got the best person possible to work on that. Like you literally pulled on like the dude who made, I think he, if I remember, is it Chris Whitehead? Yes. 
Yeah, but, he, he was the one who did those really amazing ports, if I remember correctly. Like, just, they were, everyone loves him, apparently. Um, and just, like, everyone was, I remember watching some videos and everyone was losing their shit. Um, but apparently he's very, very good about, like, just the old school Sonic games. So I'm just like, well, that's really fucking cool. Too. Supposedly, supposedly it's because his programming is the closest to capturing the, like, the physics and, like, the right kind of, like, movement mm -hmm. for Sonic in 2D, uh, like, like, in, uh, like, akin to the, the feel of the old Genesis games. So they, that's like... Really, that's really impressive. Like, yeah, it's hard. I mean, that that's, like, that was, like, y Yuji Naka's fucking, like, you know, like, imprints on, on the industry when it came to platformer games, so... Well, I mean, just game feel is so important, so it's just, like, and especially for, like, a character that has to not only platform, but, like, do also go at really ridiculous speeds. Like, that's, that's, if, if you know once a character that's supposed to play a certain way is not playing right without having to, like, be a game designer, like, it just doesn't feel right. Um, and that's really important. That's why also just, like, there's some indie titles or whatever, or even, even AAA games get this wrong a lot, but, uh... I mean, game feel is super important. If uh, if you don't have your controls right, I don't care how good the rest of your game is, I'm not going to want to play it if it doesn't control good. Yeah, well, you know, it's funny. Um, I, I've, I don't think I've talked about this on a Curb blog before. Um, maybe... Oh, no, no, yes, I have. I did a Curb blog recently about, like, what makes a perfect game or, like, what's the closest thing to a perfect game. And, like, I was bringing up this point about how, like... When it comes to a game, it, it's different than like when you're watching like a like a genre of film or something that you like, where it's like, well, it's not just about the quality of like the film or whatever, or, like the style of it, but it's also like, when it comes to a game, it's like there's a pure and like raw enjoyment factor with the type of game it is. Like, like I don't like uh, I, I'm not into the um, what's it called the the Dynasty Warriors games, mm -hmm. and I, because to me they feel really really repetitive, but the fact that they you know, are massively like popular. It's a, a you know, massively popular game series, and there's tons of spin-offs and stuff like that. It says that okay, well, the, the the raw enjoyment factor of that game, which is pressing the button a lot and beating the shit out of a billion enemies, like that feels satisfactory to a lot of people enough to where that franchise sustains itself. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, absolutely. so like, like for me, like I like. You know, like I like platformers because I like the precision of like going through a platforming game, and I like the control of, of like like Shovel Knight. I think is like the closest thing to a perfect game for me personally. Oh, that game's so good. And then when it comes to like RPGs, like that's where stuff like oh, like story and everything like that comes into it more, and you know that can you know help or hurt depending on you know whatever the the individual case is. If it's like oh, like well the story is okay, but the gameplay sucks, or you know. See, that's the thing. It, it, it's it's sometimes for people it's okay to, for it to be interchangeable, but for me, like, I, I I absolutely love a good story in games, like especially if it warrants a story. Um, but God, if the game does not play well, I don't care how good your story is. I will not play it. Yeah, like period. because like you play games for uh, because the the term that there's not an exact term for it, but like it's called like finding the fun. Mm -hmm. is like the number one goal normally for like when you're just creating a game from scratch story usually comes second after you've got your core gameplay down and sometimes people can do it the reverse with game design, uh, game design documents where they can find or have a story in mind that they want to tell through a game and then work the mechanics around the story yeah um, which, you know, like I said, there are instances, I'm sure, where that has worked, and I, I just can't pull them off the top of my head because there's video games that existed for 20, almost 30 years now. Um, but I, it, it's, it's important because video games are an interactive genre, so, like, they're very different from just, like, watching an animation because you're, you're into it for different things like the animation, the story, the characters. But with interactive media, you're actively moving something along by actually interacting with it, which is a video game. So game feel is even more important in that case because like if, if it doesn't feel right, again, you don't want to progress things along because like the, it doesn't feel right to play it, so why would I care about your story? I think that's I the reason why like RPG has become one of the most like like combines together type uh, like genres where like they melt it with other shit together because it's like, oh, well, we want to do story, so RPG is like 
the genre that is built for telling stories in video games. So we'll, it'll be like, you know, whatever slash RPG and such and such slash RPG, you know, type games. Like that seems to be like the most consistent sort of thing with it I've picked up on. But, you know, it depends. It depends on, you know. Well, if you also want to talk about like interesting and unusual game mechanics with incredible, like, more subtle storytelling uh, elements of like a certain game company that I love, uh, for like Team Ico, for example, for mm -hmm. like Shadow of the Colossus or Ico. <laughs> um, those are like, it, uh, there are instances also where game feel can also, your perspective of game feel can also change because with those games, the controls are intentionally awkward because they match the type of environment you're going into and also you're clambering up like giant beasts, say in like Shadow of the Colossus. So everything's gonna feel like off tilted and awkward and like the ca like the camera also kind of lends itself to that, but like that's one of the few types of games that can pull that off and still be considered like a classic. And that's tough, because yeah, like, like Sh I've never played Shadow of the Colossus, but we're like part part of the challenge of that where it's like, oh like yeah, the control is supposed to be like not 100% accurate because that's part of the, the challenge of like getting through it and everything where it's like, yeah, it, it's it's tough to strike that up, you know? Um, do you, do you, we can get, actually we can do more of the conversation in a second. Do you want to uh, tweet out this one, I guess? Or oh, uh, I think this is going to be the end. Oh, okay. From the terrain of magical expertise. So let me, first I have, I have to find my spooky font that I use. I have so many, so many fonts. Where the fuck is the, the fuck is the scary one? Where's the scary one? I don't remember what it's so, for. Sorry, chat of uh, video game talk of like stuff like that is not like. Super oh, that's fine. Guys, but uh, well, I've been playing so much of the same music and shit for all these streams lately. I need to get some more to be honest. That, I, it, um, it's hard sometimes because just like you have your like main soundtrack and then you're just like, oh my god, I. have I, I have that same thing, like, I have my favorite video game music, but even though I absolutely still adore it, I'm just like, oh, sh this is kind of getting repetitive. Well, it's also because I can't, I can't, like, play a lot of, like, copywritten music, because it's like, that too. Yeah. you know, um, so I've just Luckily, mostly been, I've been mostly playing tone problem. music, I've been mostly playing tone music and then, like, living tombstone music. <laughs> uh, no, it, it's, uh, I... Of the times, I, I haven't streamed lately in terms, because I use Pitaro for, uh, mm. like, actual... Like drawing streams, but I don't usually. I don't think the copyright issue is a problem there. But I know for YouTube, it definitely is. Um, yeah. Yeah, I would, that, or at least I would assume so because of the fact that it's involved with YouTube. Well, it may that maybe that might change soon. We'll see what happens. But either I way, no I mean, does it does it feel okay to actually stream on YouTube? Like no major problems or anything? No, it's been fine. I've had I've had no problems honestly. I've, I've never used it before, so I don't know how the service is. Yeah, it's it's I, I haven't had any problems honestly. I've it's been cool. it's been all good for me. So all right, well, here we are everybody. Halloween twenty sixteen. Beautiful. Alright. Let me tweet out that picture. Halloween. I love how everyone is like either badass or cute and then there's Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> He's just just generally happy about everything. Oh man, my living my dream right now. <laughs> oh lord. Here's you our. Doing any other uh, drawing? Or are you gonna be just basically ending it too? Uh yeah, I'll probably be ending it after this. Yeah, that's totally fine. That's it's starting right. to get dark anyway, so I probably have to start setting up for the kitties. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna tweet this out in just a minute. Uh, here's our chosen Halloween costumes. For the Tone Gang this year. Big thanks to everyone in the chat for the su suggestions. Whoop! And there we are. All right. Well, everybody, I think that's going to do it for us. So thank you all very, very much um, for. Uh, just in general for showing up and um, all your suggestions for costumes this year. This was a ton of fun. I, uh, I didn't have a, an idea in mind for anything specific, so I thought, hey, this would be cool to get people who are fans of the show involved and have them come up with some stuff and everything. So this was really cool. Thanks for letting me do this. So this is uh, with this, we're going we're gonna to finally wrap up uh, Voice October. 
Um, but uh, to starting tomorrow for the first week of November is voice overtime. Uh, one more week, we're extending voice October into the first week of November. Uh, tomorrow, we've got the fifth of, uh, of the, the, the last of the planned Did You Know voice acting videos uh, to come out. Uh, it's going to be Nintendo Characters Part 4, uh, focusing particularly on a lot of the uh, 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 TV shows based on Nintendo properties and, and such things. So, uh, so yeah, there's that. And what else? Oh, we've got one more interview coming out on Saturday. I actually don't know who it's going to be with yet because I haven't locked the person down. Uh, that's why having, having Crispin uh, in for that uh, curb love this past weekend about the strike was very convenient to fill in one of the weeks um, but that'll be happening. And then in the second week of November will finally be uh, the, um, uh, the anniversary week of Tome. So lots to look forward to on that front. Yeah. Um, so uh, Jordan, thank you for also coming on to hang out. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, that's my first time on your stream, I guess. So yeah. We'll see if it ever happens again. Uh, I do believe it might be very soon. I hint, might hint, have to go back to. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to my cave now. Oh, pff, whatever. Uh, <laughs> do you want to plug your social media, or anything like that? Uh, I guess so. Um, it's gonna confuse the hell out of people because that was spelled. I will type it in oh, the chat for people gosh, to see. That would be super cool of you, man. But I basically, I go by Helos, basically, on my uh, DeviantArt and my Tumblr. And like that's that's H-E-I-L-O-S, right? It's H-E-I-L-O-S, -E not the other way around. Aw, oh, thank you. You, you guys in chat are so nice. Here we are. And it, it's basically, I use the same name for both things, and also my Twitter is the exact same thing, just Sweet. for convenience sake. But, yeah, um, excellent. You could come see some cool stuff, or you could not. <laughs> I hope you do, though. Yeah, she draws, she draws great stuff. She did a lot of the major backgrounds in the Tome series, and uh, she did a fantastic job animating the monsters seen in the last few episodes of the show. She's awesome, so go check her stuff out. And uh, obviously you can follow me on all my usual shit that I always plug. Uh, check out Living Tombstone's music. I'll have a link to his stuff in the chat if you haven't, um, if you haven't heard his stuff before. And uh, that's going to do it for the yep. two of us. So. Just, uh, yep, I'm going to go back working on my stuff. And thank you to also the people who are super excited about Hellbent because we're totally excited to make it. <laughs> awesome. You going to head out before I, I leave or? Oh, no, 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 you can just end the stream. We can okay, cool. All right, everybody, have a uh, very happy Halloween. Uh, look forward to, uh, I guess, sort of Tome Vember. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be necessarily a full month of Tome stuff, but if you follow me on Twitter starting tomorrow, like I said, I'm going to be drawing a, uh, a Tome character uh, every day uh, right here, starting with like this one right here, this picture of Alpha. Look at how, look at how precious he is. And uh, look forward to more of that and more cool stuff coming your way very soon. Thanks again, everybody, for joining. And we will catch you all next time. <laughs>